Hello, everybody. I'm with Emmanuel Nezaquenzi talking about ORU basketball, and in his case, an outgoing senior to see what's coming up next. And Emmanuel, first of all, how are you doing during this pandemic as you have to stay at home during this period? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm, I, I got used to it, and um, it was good after the season, having some time to recover and everything. But then after a while, you just get tired of it, just being home. But you found ways to just stay active and everything. Speaking of active, you know, you're looking at staying in shape basketball-wise. So sitting around watching TV doesn't do that. What do you got to right. do to stay in basketball shape? Right. Um, I've just been, um, like, going um, to, like, the park and everything. And then to get me and Sam Kearns, we have been um, doing some work, like, uh, with the bands and everything and um, some resistance training and everything. So that would be good just to keep in shape. Social distancing, of course. Exactly. For sure. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Emmanuel, now that your ORU basketball career is over, what are your plans further in the sport of basketball? So I plan to play professionally after this. And um, so I've signed with an agency. So what they're doing right now, they're sending my uh, portfolio, my video to different um, teams here in the NBA and overseas. So, um, yeah, it just takes some time because everything's in hold right now. So. I'm just waiting yes. for things to open back up to hear more from my agent. But he's been updating me every, like, every week or so. So what – is there any kind of timetable for that? I guess it depends when these leagues open up, right? Yeah, it just depends when everything opens back up. But I'm thinking towards the end of the summer. Things will okay. open. Okay. I have an idea where I'll be going. Well, let's take you back to this last season. What memories stick out for you your senior year at ORU? Um, oh, definitely – just be so last year I wasn't able to play my younger brother because I was hurt, but um, I was right. able to play him twice. My mom was able to come to the games, and then um, yeah, that was really a good memory, really, really fun. And then in the conference tournament, like winning the first game for sure. I've never done that, and uh, it was big. It was big. Now I've got to ask you when you played against your brother who played for Denver, right. I didn't really notice it, but surely there had to be a little chit chat on the court with him, right? For sure, for sure. Um, <laughs> I uh, definitely just complained to the ref, you know, trying to get him in foul trouble and all that. And, um, yeah, we definitely talked some. Like, he dunked one, I dunked one back at him. So, it was fun. Well, as you look back at this past year, you know, besides winning that game in the conference tournament, what other thing stands out for you as maybe the most pleasant surprise of the basketball season? Pleasant surprise. I would say us going and beating um, Missouri State. Those those were a good game because they were a really good team. That's a big win. And then obviously want to win over at BYU, but um, we played them really well and um, it was a close game. But yeah, everybody is competitive. You also has man. I wish we'd have had that one back. What was your biggest disappointment from the season? Disappointment from the season was um, losing against Denver. At the, oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a big disappointment because they were last in the conference. We really needed to win that game. So, uh, yeah, that was disappointing. And you're playing your brother again, so now he's got one up exactly. on you, right? Exactly. <laughs> so, um, I needed that one. Of course, I'm bragging rights, but sorry. It happened. <laughs> Well, now that you're moving on to play a professional career, looking back overall at your, your whole career at ORU, what, what do you think you're going to miss most about ORU? Miss most, um, for sure, the spiritual aspect, you know, like ORU is a special place. For sure, like the chapels I'm going to miss. Just like it's different when you're like, obviously I'm going to be on different teams, but like really that college, like like your teammates, you know, like you're going to have the sure. drivers. Um, yeah, I'm going to miss the team, like the coaches, for sure. And um, just the whole thing in the athletic department. Like, they've been doing a great job for four years, so I'm going to miss that as well. Interesting that you mentioned campus life. A lot of athletes say, man, I'm really going to miss the locker room, being with the guys. But for you, it's a lot more. It is it is campus life. It is the spiritual component, isn't it? Right, it is, for sure. Yeah, there's something here at ORU that's really – like, I was obviously a Christian before you, but, like, it wasn't until I got here when I really, like, started to dig deeper in my faith. And um, that's when I really, like, got to know God on a more intimate level. So, um, 
had a deep relationship with him. So I thank all of you for that, for sure. Well, Emmanuel, you received postseason awards, not only for your play on the court, but also for your academics in the classroom. As you look right. back at all those awards, which part of it is more important to you? Um, I would say both. I would say um, at first, I'm, I'm before an athlete, I'm a student athlete. So um, it's really important to do well off the court, like with my academics and then being like getting the awards in order to like go professional. That's important as well. So I'll say both. But uh, yeah, it's a blessing to have both for sure. Now you're a scholarship athlete. As you look back at getting the scholarship to play college basketball, how yeah. big a deal is the scholarship? What did that mean to you? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a big deal. So ever since I was a, a kid, I grew up in the Netherlands, was born and raised over there. I always knew mm -hmm. I, I was meant to be here in the United States playing basketball. And um, this scholarship really made it possible for me to, like, graduate, for me to be able to play college basketball here, to for me to, like, also do my master's, you know? Like, yes. Um, I wouldn't have able to do all that without like the scholarship that was provided by me. Like God really blessed me with the scholarship and definitely the people who made this happen. So um, I'm really grateful. Obviously you're a very, very spiritual guy. Is there a Bible verse or something you'd recommend to others? Because people are having a tough right. time with this pandemic. What would you recommend for them? Um, Joshua 1 verses 9, it says, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. It just speaks to me that, um, like, He's got God's gonna be with us, like, no matter what, like, in the good times and the bad times. And obviously, right now we're not such a good time, but God is still gonna be with us. Like, we just have to be courageous, have faith, and trust. Him. Excellent, Emmanuel. I appreciate it so much. We will keep track of you as you begin your pro career in a few months. And good luck to you, my friend. Thanks so much. Thanks for your time.